Hey y'all, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I, 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 I How y'all doing today, you guys? What's up? It's your girl Rita, and I'm here to do another video for you and you and you and you and you. Hey y'all. Today I'm going to be doing a really simple um, recipe. I think you guys are going to like it. Go ahead on and give me a thumbs up for this video because I think you're going to like what I'm going to be giving. I think you're going to be ready to smoke what I'm rolling. Okay. 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 So you guys, I'm going to be, let me get my skillet on go. I'm going to be making... Something pretty de uh, pretty pretty neat, you know, and I think it's gonna be something quick, a good weeknight meal, weekend meal. And today, you guys, I'm gonna be making my unstuffed bell pepper bowls. Okay, don't that sound good? Okay, uh, I have a video on here for stuffed bell peppers. It is to die for. It is delicious. I loaded with a bunch of cheese and um uh, ground beef and um this veggie type rice and it is just stuffed up really good and baked in the oven and it's greasy and cheesy and it's delicious but you know right now that's not my ministry right now my ministry is about a little bit of healthy eating mixed in and splashed in with that greasiness so that's why you've been getting all of this um what do you call it? Salmon, salmon, and you've been getting turkey this and turkey that and stuff like that. Because, you know, okay, let me see. Let me see if y'all can take. Because the girl, she don't lost six pounds. She don't lost six pounds. And listen, I really ain't doing a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. I'm dressed now. I got on my sports bra. That's why these things is not up like they need to be. But I'm going to be working out after I leave here. But I'm not doing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm trying to get in more water. And like I said, I haven't had beef since my birthday. So, and that was February the 2nd. So, um, you know, I'm just doing some little things. And I'm just taking y'all with me while I do these small things. So, today we're going to be making, like I said, unstuffed bell pepper bowls okay so i'm gonna of course i'm gonna be using some ground turkey and a thousand pieces of bell pepper because um bell pepper is in the name and y'all know i am when it's in the name it's in the title i make sure that i'm heavy on that item okay so let's get on into it i've talked to you guys i've loved on you guys Oh, thank you so much for being with me. I love you guys. Let's get on down on the pan. I'm not going to take you all the way through me doing this uh, ground turkey, but I'm going to take you through some of it. You're going to have to have you some ground turkey. You're going to have to have bell peppers per day, some onions, some tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and then some seasonings and your rice of choice. I'm going to be using brown rice, but feel free, you guys, to use cauliflower rice. I, um... I ain't, I ain't there yet. I'm not saying I'm not going to get there, but I'm not there yet on the cauliflower rice. So, but I am using brown rice, so clap for that. That's good, right? So we're going to get the cooking, okay? Let me get y'all down on the, on the pan, and we're going to get started. Hold on just a second. Okay, guys, so here we go. I have my hot skillet. I always like to let my skillet get hot, so it's waiting for me. I'm not waiting for it. I'm just going to drizzle me a little bit of EVOO right here in the bottom of this skillet. And like I said, you guys, I have about three, two and a half pounds of ground turkey. Now, this was actually some sweet um, turkey sausages um, that I took out of the casing. Because I didn't, I looked in there and I didn't have any ground. So I just took them out of the casing. Y'all know that y'all can do that. I know you know that. And so I'm just going to be, this is about two and a half pounds. And like I said, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm probably going to definitely do two because all of my ingredients I have is for two pounds. So we're just going to throw it down in here. I'm going to see how it breaks down. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be seasoning it with. And um, I'm going to get it all together and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I make this bowl okay I'm gonna go ahead and use this meat because if I don't use it all in this 
I'll use it in something. My turkey burgers, you guys, they were the bomb. They were such a hit. Anytime my family eats up everything that I make, you know, if I make something and it's nothing left and they eat it for two or three days in a row, I know that they really enjoyed it. <laughs> and that was the case with these turkey burgers. Uh, we ate, I think my husband ate it three days in a row. I ate one, two days in a row. And you guys, I am now a turkey burger girl. And I thought, I didn't think I would ever say that. I was against them, you know. I was a turkey burger snob, okay. But I made them turkey burgers and they were so delicious that <laughs> no lies detected, honey. It was good. Okay, so what I'm going to be seasoning this with, you guys, is I'm going to just season it with some salt, some pepper, okay? I'm going to season it with some cumin, and I'm going to season with some red pepper flakes, and I'm going to season with some garlic powder. I'm not going to use that. I don't even know why I had that over here. That was some seasoning salt, but I don't need that. I'm doing regular salt, okay? So I'm going to season that with those things, and you know what my rules are. And you know what my favorite four is, and I don't have my garlic, I mean my onion powder. So if you don't know what my favorite four are, I'm going to come right back. Hold on, wait a minute, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Let me get it. Where is it? So you'll hear me talking about my favorite four every once in a while. And that's salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Those are my favorite four. And I use them almost in every meal that I make. <laughs> um, without fail, I'm going to bring them. They're going to make an appearance in some kind of way. Okay? So let's put my favorite four in here. And y'all know my rule of thumb. Two, um, a tablespoon per pound of meat will get you what you need to get. It will give you what you need to get gotten. Okay? Okay, you guys, so now we have our meat uh, done. And normally you can take this meat out and, um, you know, do your um, vegetables separate. But I'm going to just pour my vegetables right down in here and I'm going to let everything cook together. Look, I'm not trying to make this difficult. I'm trying to make this easy and I'm trying to get through. So what I have is about two cups of... Uh, mixed colored uh, bell peppers okay and then I have a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes and a smaller can of just diced tomatoes and the reason why I double it you guys is because I'm trying not to add anything um, else in here like a tomato or pasta sauce but um, I'll make that determination once I let this cook down a little bit because I do want it to stay as, uh, what's the word? I want it to be as healthy a version as I can get it. But at the same time, it got to be good or I ain't going to eat it. And I know these old spoiled folks around me ain't going to eat it. Eat. So, we're going to see, okay? I'm just going to let this cook down. Like I said, that's um, um, two cups um, of... Uh, variety colored uh, bell peppers and then about a cup of chopped white onion and then I have that can of fire roasted tomatoes and diced tomatoes and I drained both of them you guys so I'm going to let this cook down a little bit and then I'm going to determine if I want to put a little sauce in here because like I said this is just going to go right on top of my rice and that's going to be the completion of this of this um, dish. So this has got to be delicious, right? Yeah. It's got to be good or it just ain't going to come together. So we're going to let it cook for just a little bit and I'll be back, okay, you guys? Okay, you guys, I am back. And would you look at this beautiful pan of colors and, oh, it just looks so pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, girl, it do. It look good. Ah. Mm, good. Oh, yeah, good. Good, good. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make a little bowl of y'all because I'm not ready. And this is just, my, like I said, my brown rice. And I just cooked this mess up in the microwave. I ain't do nothing special to it. I put me about a tablespoon or two of butter in here 
and cooked it in the microwave according to the directions. And then I just let it sit out, you know, because I like it to get I like a, a crumbly dry texture. I don't like no wet rice, okay? So I'm just going to make a small little... Okay, y'all went away. Bless this food, God. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's taste it, y'all, because I don't know what just happened, and I don't want it to happen again. Let's get you some rice. Let's get you some beans. Let's get you some beans, girl. Some rice, some meat, and some of these delicious peppers. Open your mouth and tell me what you think. Mm. <laughs> Another one. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, my family's going to be like, yes, yes, mama, baby, wife. Mm. Let me tell you guys, this is another one, unstuffed bell pepper bowl. Make you some, and then tell me how good it is, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and remember your food ain't all the way live until it's been read -tized. Get you one more bite, because I love y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I don't know.